right. Uh, year of ending. We'll make it quick. Uh, anyhow, we have a system with seven worlds uh, and random events. So uh, watch out because you never know what's going to be falling from the sky on you now this summer. Uh, anyhow, random events will be uh, written uh, and selected by me uh, for the individual weeks uh, that we have uh, for the year of ending. And uh, anyhow, uh, just to let you guys know, our system is composed of the seven worlds, and they are Forge World, Xeno World, Death World, Ghost World, Artificial World, Hive World, and Demon World! Thank you for all my chaos players. Woo! Anyhow, um, now the next set we have to do is kind of give it some life. And it's kind of been weird to me because it's kind of like, okay, you get an idea of what people want, but you don't know how much they want you to do it and how much they want to participate. So if people start flooding the responses, dude, you do more. Just do it. Just take care of it, whatever. That's fine. But if you say, no, 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 keep doing it like it is, uh, which I like because I like hearing what other people come up with. It's much more creative than me, uh, what I would do. Uh, I think that's cool. You know, I have my own way of doing things, but I want to I wanna know what other people want to do. Anyway, uh, I'm looking here. At, I put up some new threads at miniwargaming.com. Scroll down under the year of ending. Uh, there's uh, one entitled the official uh, world names thread. And that is for the system name and the world. I want to know what, what names you want for these places now that they're there. Um... And you want to specify, like, don't just say, oh, just throw out Xenon. Well, did you want the Forge World to be called Xenon, or did you want the Artificial World to be called Xenon? You know what I'm saying? To say, you know, Demon World Chaos Rules. You know, but obviously have it fit within the 40K fluff. You don't want to have a name that's really kind of silly. Those are fun, but, you know, um, you know, treat the material seriously, as it were. Then there's also uh, an official Xeno World Native Population thread. What should, who should be on there? This isn't um, random creatures, which would be designed maybe for something like the Death World, which would be really cool if people did some, some homebrew creatures for that particular place. But what is, uh, what is um, you know, what do you want? Do you want Tau? Do you want Orcs? Do you want to have um, a creature that is playable? Uh, if you find something that has existed in the past, um, like the, I think it's the Luxottle from the Sabbath Crusade, which I mentioned in the thread, as what I would throw out there is saying, really cool, it's a really cool unit. Um, but, and it can be more than one, but what are your ideas for who should be the, kind of the, who's holding um, the planet, uh, essentially? What is the native or indigenous population or populations? And then we actually have another poll, and this is, should we make armies that Games Workshop does not consider tournament legal, should we include those armies? I'm talking specifically about an army like Lost in the Damned or something like that. This is an army list in the past that were available to play, blood packs, stuff like that, that isn't necessarily, you're not going to necessarily see this at a tournament. And I'm not a game necromancer or anything like that. Uh, I just like to see a lot of different uh, armies, a lot of different flavor. It kind of really immerses you in the 40K universe. What I don't, I'm not asking for and really don't want are people who have these uber armies that they've just come up with rules on their own, you know, and all that stuff. Not, I don't think that's really appropriate. This is something that everybody is going to be able to play and agree on and expect to potentially face. So we don't want to say... Um, you know, I don't want my personal opinion to be, yeah, lost in the dam and show up, and somebody's like, whoa, you can't use that army. So basically the question is, do you want to see armies that were at one time considered official or tournament legal? Uh, these will be armies that will have to have army lists that are still available in some way, either as a PDF or in a book form, or that people could find the information on these armies so that they're not blindsided in a game. We want to be fair to everyone. It's not my intention to, to allow anyone any kind of edge uh, during a game, uh, because that's why we're in. We're into the game, and, you know, we want things to be fair and balanced. So that's why the question, though. Um, anyhow, I've prattled on for quite a bit. And uh, so check out the threads, post your thoughts, vote. 
uh, all that stuff, and there'll be uh, more threads and polls and stuff like that up shortly. I appreciate everybody who has voted and and uh, sent their thoughts, and uh, appreciate it. I'm looking very forward now, and I uh, finally have a paint scheme for my chaos guys. So there we go. Hopefully those uh, picks will be up shortly as I get the stuff coming in from my uh, from my order, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.